Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aries might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for July 19th through the 26th. Okay, it's a week. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, keep in mind that all tarot readings are timeless, so whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. If you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you, just keep the parts that do, disregard the breasts, and if you know your other planetary placements like those I mentioned at the beginning of this intro, then you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and ask Spirit for any love messages for Aries for the week of July 19th through the 26th. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, for July 19th through the 26th? Whew, the Ace of Cups just popped right on out of there. Okay, it just fell right out. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and set this one to the side for a moment. And I'm going to divide these into three stacks. And the card on the bottom of the deck, you'll see at the same time I do, it has the Eight of Swords. Yes, it was in reverse. I don't read reversals. Um, they were not read um, in reverse when tarot was first introduced. So I tend to uh, go along with the more traditional uh, way of reading. Uh, reading reversals has probably only been the last few decades or so. And so it's a little more modern. All right, so this Ace of Swords is about uh, being afraid to move forward, to make a move, uh, to step out of your comfort zone. Uh, it's about our phobias and anxieties and things like that that keep us from uh, doing what we really want to do. Uh, you know, you really want to go on that trip, but you don't want to cross the ocean or you don't want to, you know that type thing. Uh, it's about a prison. It's about a mental prison, not just a physical prison, which it can be about that. If any of you guys have someone that you love that's incarcerated or something, but uh, basically it's about a mental prison that is keeping you from uh, moving forward. Now the Ace of Cups that fell out, that shows that uh, there's a lot of love and a lot of fulfillment that's coming. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set these here, and as we go through your spread, I'm going to show you how those cards are going to relate to the different ones that come up in your reading. And for those of you who are new here, I do four rows. The first row has to do with you, what you have been uh, dealing with in the recent past, what you're currently dealing with, and what's coming towards you. Uh, the second column has to do with your uh, beloved, intended, twin flame soulmate, karmic partner, divine counterpart. This could be an ex that you want to reconcile with that you still have those really deep soul ties with, or it could be somebody that you just met. But basically, it is about um, uh, the person that you are thinking of the most, the one that's on your mind when you wake up, and that last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. The third column is about um, obstacles, challenges, that type of thing, fears, anxieties, and the last row is about outcome. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick these up. Now listen, I put two cards in each of the four rows. All right, and I'm going to do that two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. So by the time we get to the end of the reading, then we have a pretty good idea about 
what's going on. Now we have this Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot, and he, you know they're kind of they kind of look as if they're opposing each other because the Knight of Pentacles is moving very very slowly, steady and sure. Okay, and the chariot looks as if you know you really, really want to uh, hurry up and go and get things moving, get on the ball. But you see that these little pieces are sitting still and they're not moving. So you're kind of there's some delays or whatever there, but it's for the best. It's uh, it's best that you take things nice and slow, and think things over carefully and plan you know whatever your strategy is that is uh, fixing you for this coming week all right now in your partner's column we have death as well as the five of wands and so yeah this is definitely showing that you know you've had some issues in the past with maybe somebody that might have been uh, a, I don't want to say the word because I like being monetized but yeah the thing is um, you know this is somebody that was verbally abusive emotionally abusive narcissistic uh, treated you like, you know, every little thing you did was wrong. Occasionally, you know, when they needed something from you, they were loving and kind and sweet and generous. But uh, this is something definitely from your past that you have laid to rest. But it is still having an impact on you, so to speak. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, you have the Queen of Swords as well as the Queen of Wands. Now, these two cards together you know, one is like, uh, let's go party, let's go have fun, let's, you know, let's be adventurous. And the Queen of Swords at the same time is saying, okay, let's go do all that, but I'm not taking any, I'm not going to take any more of this. I'm not. So anybody that's going to even try to approach you, when you put yourself out there having a good time, you're going to just cut them right off at the knees. And when you get to your outcome, we have the Ten of Cups as well as the Ten of Wands. Both of these, you know, tens, tens are always about endings. This is putting down, putting down all those burdens from your past that this uh, lovely person put on you. All these things that you are uh, bearing and carrying with you. The Ten of Cups talks about uh, looking forward to that final destination that you want, that final future that you have. Moving forward, you want to, um, you know, have this happy ending. You want family and home and love and uh, romance and sensuality and passion. Uh, you have a few things, you know, this, this Eight of Swords is keeping you from moving forward. In order to achieve this, this is, you know, you're going to have to put these fears down and just move away from them and realize that that's something that you've laid to rest in the past. And in order to uh, do that and achieve that and achieve uh, love in abundance that overflows into all areas of your life, that is exactly what you need to do. All right, now for the second row, we have the Three of Wands as well as the Nine of Swords. Your partner has the Ten of Swords and the Tower. And your uh, obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, you have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you have the Six of Wands and the Fool in your outcome. Remember, we still have one more row to go. The three rows represent past, present, and future. Okay, so presently, yeah, you're hurting over it. It still hurts you. You might have decided to leave it behind, but, you know, you still have that occasional night where you're sleepless or you're restless or you miss them, but that's what those icky trauma bonds are about, okay? They uh, make you crave them by creating a chemical reaction in your brain that makes you feel drawn to them. And you, you don't think clearly, it's like addiction. And now that you know, you're putting that 10 of wands and you're putting that down and you're stepping outside of your comfort zone and you're gonna go ahead and move forward, you are actually, uh, you see the dawn coming up and you see the three wands here. You are waiting for your ships to come in. It's like, okay, where, where is the love for my life right now? Where is this person? That's okay, they're coming. All right, 
Now with your partner, they have that Ten of Swords and the Tower. And whatever, it, you know, they haven't had such great cards. <laughs> They haven't had such great cards in their column. You know, it's the relationship you left behind uh, because, of, because of their, uh, you know, ways that they would just pick and pick and tease and hurt you uh, deliberately. You know, everything fell apart. And they, they do mourn and they do regret Miss, you know, letting you go, letting letting you get away from them. Uh, but a lot of times that's their ego speaking. It's not really that they miss you. It's just that they miss having you to release their insecurities on, okay? And what they do is they turn around. When they see that you are moving on and leaving them behind, that you are uh, definitely the one that's been treating them so bad. They like to paint themselves as the victim in order to get sympathy from their next victim. All right, now in the obstacles and challenges, fears and anxieties, well, you have this new opportunity that's approaching you. In order to get it, you're like we've been talking this whole theme, you have to move away from where you're at in order to get there. This uh, doorway right here represents, you know, it's a chance that's being offered to you. And, you know, you have to, you have to go through there. You have to put that 10 of wands down in order to walk through this little gate here. Yeah, and you have to, you know, you, you might take your experience with you. You might take some of those hurts with you. It's not like you're just going to be oblivious to the red flags that come up in the future. You're going to have this uh, opportunity to uh, move away from this relationship, whether it's actual physical distance or just emotional distance. But I do see that, you know, you are moving on from this situation. So when we get to the Six of Wands and the Fool, yeah, this is your new beginning coming in. This that started with the Ace of Pentacles. That's your opportunity coming into your life. And it's going to be something that you have really and truly been waiting for and have been looking forward to. This uh, Fool uh, tells us that, you know, you're going to have this brand new outlook, uh, kind of like, you know, you've been washed clean. This is what happens after the tower. We get the star, and it's brand new, brand new beginning starting over. And even though the star isn't here in this reading, uh, that's what happens after the tower is that you do get that new beginning. And you're looking forward to the future and uh, able to finally move on. Okay. You guys... I'm getting over COVID-19, and right now, <laughs> I feel like hot, like all of a sudden, like my temp raised like four degrees or something. It's kind of weird. Uh, so, you know, I feel great for the most part. This is the end of like two, going into three weeks, and I just, you know, I thought that I didn't have it, but I do. So, yeah, it's yuck. Okay. So... We have the Queen of Pentacles as well as the Herif, I mean the High Priestess for you and your um, partner's column. We have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Cups. In the Obstacles and Challenges, we have the Empress as well as the Moon. And in your outcome, we have the Page of Swords and the Sun. All right. So yeah, if I seem a little distracted, <sighs> Which is hot. Okay. All right. So when you just like a side note. So when you have COVID nineteen, every single day you're wondering, okay, is it going to go bad? Am I going to die or something like that? I haven't really had any trouble breathing or anything like that, but I do uh, periodically run a temp. It's not very high, but it's enough to make you feel it. You know, uh, the first couple of days I had abdominal pain and. My eyes would burn and my nose was runny and I had a little cough for like two days. And that's about it. And then it's kind of like every few days I get these hot, it's just hot flashes where I just feel very, very hot. And then it goes away after about an hour. Okay, so we have uh, the High Priestess as well as the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, this Queen of Pentacles tells us, yeah, you're going to be more focused on that stability. You have that Knight of Pentacles at the beginning of your reading, which shows us that, you know, that is what you're looking for. That's that security that you're looking for. You've had a lot of very um, 
deep decisions that you've had to make. You've had a lot of feelings that you've had to uh, sort out and go through and move past and find out what was real and what was gaslighted to you. And uh, this is enabling you to see things through, um, you know, more clear vision. All right. And in your partner's column, we have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Of course, you can always expect when their ego's bruised and they see that you've moved on and they see how wonderful you're getting along, they always want to come back. They always want to offer that love to you again because they see a whole new set of um, things that you possess now that they can make use of. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, they they haven't been honest. There's always been these third-party situations going on with them. They want to act as if their heart is broken when they've been the cause. The, they've been the cause of it. That type person is the one that, you know, whenever you uh, figure out something or you want to confront them with it, they turn the tables and they, they make you feel really, really bad about it. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, we have this moon card, which talks about us finding out things that had previously been hidden, but uh, remembering that uh, with the uh, embodying the Empress, all the elements from this Empress, you uh, pretty much, uh, you're not bothered by it because you know that, you know, now you see that you were right for moving on and for uh, starting completely over and leaving, leaving all of that behind you. And when we get to year end cards, we have the sun as well as the page of swords. Now, I really, really love to see the empress card next to the sun card. And you see that they both have uh, the beautiful red banner, robes, whatever that is, in the back. And you see the sun is just starting to rise back here. In your outcome, the sun is rise has is rising and has risen and you are going to have a lot of luck and prosperity and things that are moving on. Of course, you know, unless you really, really put your foot down and you have that queen of swords in there, you're going to have to make use of her uh, because this um, page of swords is somebody that, um, you know, kind of wants to spy on you to see what it is they've missed. They, this is the person that, you know, uh, is constantly uh, wanting to check your social media. They are asking friends about you. They're checking up on you and, you know, just kind of, kind of like they did, they just want to know what's going on with your life. All right. So yeah, in order to achieve this, um, you have to go ahead and take that chance and move past the hurt that this person has caused you, okay? Of course, they're going to be, uh, you know, you're not going to let them bother you when they, like, watch to see what you're doing. It's just going to make you shine even more. Uh, yeah, it, as long as you're not affected by it, as long as you don't, you know, let them get their hooks in you and suck you back in, okay? Just be careful of that because you'll end up right back where you guys were at when all this mess started. Okay, so thank you guys so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, subscribes. And thank you so much for all of your very generous donations. I really, truly appreciate that so very much. And um, I just want you guys to know that. And I will see you back here next week for your next weekly readings. Okay? Bye-bye. I love you.